Yeah. We're in pajamas to the airport. Yeah. So this That's summer, good. me and Lil Nas took a trip to Nebraska. Uh, for him, it was it was a wrestling trip. And for me, I got to visit one of my old friends. Four hours. And uh, he's on the staff there, on the football staff. And, you know, just go see the facility, yeah, you know, chill out, overnight watch Nas nice wrestling for a couple of days. So, you know, it was a crazy trying to get out, exactly. layovers, delays, no flight attendants, you know, we were going to try to make it here, but we made it on time. That's the most important part, made it safe, and, um, you know, let the trip begin. So we finally made it. And here we are checking in, getting eyes registered for the wrestling camp. I tell you, I'm a little nervous. I don't know if people staying in the dorms or not, or staying with me, but uh, we wanted to be able to get in the room the way he was able to stay on campus. Ooh, that boy, let me see the bucket, man. Let's guy see the right bucket, there, bro. Coach O. Brad's coming up. So here he is checking in the dorm. This is great for him as a you know, junior right now, having that college experience, going to you know, sleep in the dorm for the first time. So this is all you know, taking us to uh, the spot in the air conditioned golf cart. Shout out to them, shout out to the university. And this is one of their training complexes, a bunch of offices uh, for the track team, uh, basketball practice here for men's and women's. Uh, wrestling uh, is in here, but that was some dope art. So and then this is where we basically spent the week at, you know, hundreds of kids who was there. But just going back to the facility, Hall of Famers, and then driving out to the football stadium. Man, it was so much more, so many different you know, fields and things and offices. Couple of Heisman's right there. I had to stop by them. And then, you know, right here, this is a throwback. Uh, yeah, this is a about five years ago, when we went to visit Omar University at Baylor, uh, and it just brought back crazy memories. Back in that golf cart, not air conditioned though. Are they playing But uh, you know, seeing Nas, you know, you know, grow from there to to where he is now. You know, I had to show the RG3 jersey some love. And this was nice. Oh, set up a photo shoot for it. Shout out to Mike Wallace, too. It's my guy. Yeah, nice. Had a little photo shoot. And uh, here's some of the pictures. That ain't the boss. That ain't the boss. So right here, we actually bumped We got real Philly in here. My guy. What's up, How you been, man? My guy, Gordon, who I coached at Emotep. Yeah, so it was, it was he don't remember. Yeah. He used to see Nas at Emotep practice. Yeah, he was five, six years old. Ooh, that's him. So, <laughs> Gordon played pay for other time. A little, little nostalgia yeah, right there. Yeah, practice all the time. Green Goblin. DeAndre. You was in the a year above Dre, though. Same year. Same year? Right, yeah. Same year. Over in real Philly in here, man. What y'all doing? Uh, uh, he going to the wrestling camp. Wrestling camp? Yeah. You wrestling? Yeah. Okay. So this is the first day. Everybody has getting ready. Gonna get warmed up. And this is where we're going to go to the days at. Although, you know, like I said, he was nervous. He actually, you know, performed, you know, much better than he did he would. Coaches took notice, you know, his counselors. And uh, more importantly, you know, you know he, he got a real experience. He got a lot of confidence in the next season. A couple moments. A couple kids asking him for tips.
job, Nas. Good job.